Hey guys, it's C Drama Invasion here, and I recently posted a video for my top 10 actresses of 2020. So here is the other counterpart, the top 10 Chinese actors, my personal favorites of this year. This is not my all-time favorites list as I've mentioned in the last one. And the same disclaimer goes for this one as well. This is a subjective list. So please don't feel offended if your favorite actors aren't on this list. This is only based off of the performances that I've seen and I haven't seen that many Many dramas this year only around 30 or 40 and I'm looking forward to seeing your top three actors of the year and let me know why down in the comments below as well starting off in 10th place I have Caesar Wu from General's Lady he finally has his time to shine in this drama since his other work Meteor Garden he was playing one of the side characters this time he plays a cold general on the outside but actually is very sweet on the inside general's lady is pretty typical when you will first get into it the synopsis follows a arranged marriage and a typical misunderstood general but despite its flaws i think that this is one of the best rom-coms to offer this year there's just so much great chemistry between the two leads they make the cheesy scenes tolerable and look natural instead of being cringy caesar Wu does have a long way to go but he has huge potential to get larger and bigger drama roles in the future in number nine i chose zhou ting wei he is the actor from Ashes of Love. He played a supporting role. The romance for him and the demon princess really tugged at my heartstrings and he did it once again in Love in Between. I'm so glad that he got more screen time because he definitely deserves it. He is the second couple out of the three main pairs. I really did like everyone in Love in Between, but for me, I kept my eye on him the whole time and he was just stellar. He is so great and he deserves a lot more attention. I like that we got to see different sides of him because he at first started off as a cunning sect leader that falls in love with the daughter of another sect, who slowly you see other sides of him for him being sweet and caring and all the pain that he went through in the past. If you're into wuxia romances, I definitely recommend Love In Between. Moving on to number 8, I chose Shu Kai from Once Upon a Time in Lingjian Mountain. Although he was in, I think, two dramas this year with Dance of the Sky Empire, Once Upon a Time in Lingjian Mountain, I'm just gonna call it Lingjian Mountain for short, was definitely the more interesting and unique one and in my opinion i think i love seeing him in more eccentric and outgoing roles because truthfully after watching him on so many variety shows it turns out he is quite a quiet person in real life so it's even more impressive when i see him do crazy comedic scenes and crazy facial expressions it makes it even better which is why i appreciate it when actors go out of their way to act in a completely opposite character that they've played before or to their personality in real life the next actor i chose in seventh place is van gogh gao he had not only two but four dramas that aired this year which is just crazy it was miss s eternal love of dream living towards the sun and drawing sword three which technically aired but got canceled slash taken down halfway due to some controversy either way he had such a great year in acting but too bad that most of his dramas aired on TV stations or companies that didn't put out any English subtitles. I still have high hopes for Miss S and Living Towards the Sun though, since they both had relatively high ratings and performed really well. They got really great reviews from Chinese citizens. I really enjoy seeing him in a multitude of genres and 
doing different things. Miss S was a Republican mystery romance drama. Living Towards the Sun was a melodramatic romance drama. Eternal Love of Dream is a fantasy Xianxia historical drama. And Drawing Sword 3 was a military action drama. For number six, I chose Lo Yunxi. He had a breakout year this year with Love is Sweet, of course. And, and the winner is Love. It didn't do too well, but I didn't really see it, so it's fine by me. Love is Sweet, on the other hand, he did a great job. It was so nice and refreshing to see him as the main lead in a modern drama which is quite different from his previous roles and he did a great job as i said the chemistry was great and even in previous videos i have said many times i didn't really love love is sweet it's not that great of a drama but the chemistry between the leads is the only redeeming factor since the writing is basically crap the chemistry is undeniable though and I cannot wait to see him in Lie to Love next year with Cheng Xiao. Number five, I chose Zhang Ye Cheng from The Sleepless Princess. He was also in The Love of 10,000 Years, but I've said many times that I absolutely hated that drama. But it really has nothing to do with the leads. They were both great actors. It's probably just the script and the plot of that drama. Anyways, The Sleepless Princess was great and as usual he brought on the chemistry with the female lead. I would love to see him in a modern romance drama similar to Lo Yunxi. I think he would have done a great job as a leading male in a rom-com. In fourth place I chose Steven Zhang. He had such a great year in acting as well with three dramas airing. They were Symphony's Romance, Skate Into Love, and Go Ahead. Skate Into Love was one of my favorites at the beginning of the year. It had its low moments here and there and could have been shorter, but overall the drama performance was great and I haven't seen such a fun rom-com in a while. And Go Ahead was one of my favorites of the year as well. I've also seen him previously in Young Blood, which was a historical comedy drama. He really does well in the comedy genre, but he is very adaptable and can do many styles and roles as well. Coming in at number three is Zhang Yin from Winter Begonia. I could have easily picked Wang Xiaoming, who was so charismatic in his role for this drama. But from the beginning, there was a buzz around Zhang Yin when he got casted to play the main lead role. And a lot of people were saying that he was not well known or they were worried about his acting capabilities or how the chemistry would happen on screen. However, I really do applaud him after watching this drama for carrying out such a hard role so effortlessly. This is probably one of the most complex roles to play because he is a famous Beijing opera singer in the show and naturally there are so many scenes of him performing with very heavy makeup and costume. His scenes are very captivating when he's on stage singing and dancing. It's very beautiful and as someone who knows nothing about traditional Chinese opera, this show really opened up my eyes and of course the chemistry between the male leads were there too. Overall, such a standout performance of the year. Um, so I actually kind of cheated and have two people in second place. They are tied and the first person is Li Yifeng. He is amazing in Fearless Whispers and I was never too big of a fan of him until watching this drama. He is such a likable character in this drama and it is really one of the hardest roles that I've seen on screen because there is a fine line between naivety and just outright dumb, but he made this work somehow and he's just so likable. He plays a honest and naive righteous policeman who is new to the world of corruption and he goes into the police workforce in very troubling times. 
This drama just really makes you want to root for him. It's so emotional and beautiful. Overall, he did a wonderful job. The other person tied in second place is Ding Yuxi, who was great in both Intense Love and the Romance of Tiger and Rose. But I'm going to mainly talk about his performance in the Romance of Tiger and Rose. No, this is not an overrated drama. I really enjoyed his acting with Zhao Lu Si. He definitely has potential to dominate the romance genre, but we'll have to wait and see in the future. I really enjoyed the little expressions that he makes on screen, such as little smirks, smug attitude, or the way that he gazes at Lu Si. And in first place, probably not too much of a surprise if you've watched my channel a lot because I've been raving about Love and Redemption. And Cheng Yi definitely blown me away with Love and Redemption, his role as Yu Su Feng. The way he gazes at the female lead makes it so convincing that he's deeply in love with her and it's just so heartbreaking when he's in pain or during the crying scenes or whenever he's suffering, which is a lot, unfortunately. But it just shows how versatile the actor can be. And I just fell head over heels for his role in Love and Redemption. I'm so happy that he's getting recognized because he deserves it. And I'll be looking forward to his upcoming roles. Also, side note, Love and Redemption is coming to Netflix to many countries. So do yourself a favor and watch the drama. If you like these type of videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Check out the links in the description box below if you missed out on my previous videos and you want to catch up. Subscribe and also let me know your top three. Happy holidays and I'll see you next time. Bye.